Hi guys, so the documentary that I watched over this weekend is called King Corn and it's about these two friends. Um, their names are Ian and Kurt and they were curious about corn and corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup and they noticed that in every single food item that we eat or drink or just consume in general has some kind of some form of corn in it and so they were wondering what that whole process is and they wanted to um, start from the beginning themselves by um, planting corn over an acre of land and they will harvest it after it's fully grown and then they will um, kind of see the different routes that they could do with their corn. And so they uh, concluded at the end of this all that corn goes into every food and drink that we consume um, and that we are basically made out of corn. And they went to the scientist who um, pulled um, samples of their hair out and they found that there was corn embedded in it. Um, and so uh, their hair contains the information that we eat and corn was a big part of it, which was really interesting. Um, and because of the things that we eat, like meat, for example, um, cows in specific and cattle, they are corn fed. And so what they eat, we eventually eat because we eat those cows. Um, we eat the beef. Um, and so uh, corn is an everyday part of our life. And sometimes we don't even realize it, um, but we can't live without it. It's in every single food product that we have. Um, and so what they did is they went to a, um, they went to corn country, which is Iowa. So they planted, they rented an acre of land from this landowner out there and they planted an acre of just pure, of just corn. Um, and they kind of took us through month by month of their process of how it all happened. Um, and so it's really interesting how over time corn has been modified, modified and now corn, when you grow corn, it doesn't just go, you can't just straight eat it anymore. It has to go um, through a processing center. And so farmers these days will grow their corn, but they can't just eat it like they used to. They sell it and it goes other places. And so throughout the movie, they talk about just the process of planting, harvesting, keeping up on the land and things like that. And so once their corn was ready, was almost ready to be harvested, they, um, they went through different paths and um, followed each path about for of where their corn could go, if that makes sense. Um, so there's different ways that they can sell their corn. Um, and so one of them is you can sell it to feedlots. So you can sell your corn to these owners who own all of these cows and they will feed the corn to their cows, which in turn, they will sell their cows to a butcher and they kill the cows and then we end up eating it in the end. So that's one path of where corn can go. Um, and the other one is it can be made into corn syrup, which we all know what corn syrup is. Um, but it is found in everything, basically. And they just followed... Um, the path of corn syrup and how it's made um, and they eventually harvest it and the findings overall um, that I got from this movie was um, the meat that we eat has corn in it and beef is corn, soda is corn, fries are cooked in corn oil, that's made out of corn, everything that we eat has touched or is made out of corn so that's pretty interesting. So uh, overall, um, 
relating this to uh, patients and to uh, um, our own self is, it's interesting, I would like to actually pay attention. I already pay attention to what I eat anyways, but it's interesting to see in specific how everything has corn syrup. So I would recommend and just tell patients to watch what's watch what is in your food um, and be careful um, and make sure that there's not too much corn, high fructose corn syrup and things um, because that can ruin your body such as soda. Soda has very high amounts of um, corn syrup. And so I would just um, educate patients, myself and the community about just being aware of what you eat um, and that it's just important to um, watch what you put in your body and things like that. Um, so thank you for listening.